Now we'll see the troubleshooting for a single orifice float trap. In this, we categorize in three parts. One, not discharging enough condensate and the trap leaking steam. First category, not discharging condensate at all. To check this, check the trap installation. Ensure that the trap installed in a horizontal plane and we are following the flow direction arrow. Also check for strainer blockage which is installed before the trap. Third, we will check the differential pressure and the process parameters. Check whether the differential pressure is higher than the designated delta P. Once this is checked, open the trap. Check whether the valve and the seat is partially blocked. If so, clean the orifice as well as the seat. Reassemble the float assembly. Check the movement of the pivot pin. It has to move freely. Ensure that the float is resting onto the seat. If the trap is not discharging enough condensate, check the parameters. Check the trap sizing. Also check if any additional back pressure is acting at the downstream of the float trap. The next point to be checked, steam leaking continuously from the trap. To check this, check the trap installation. Secondly, check for any foreign particle deposition between the valve and the seat. If so, clean the surface with cotton waste or cotton cloth. If any deep scratches appear on the seat or the ball, replace the main valve assembly. For replacing the main valve assembly, refer to the user manual. Check whether the SLR seat or the SLR step is in a good condition. If not, replace the same. Once these parameters are checked, reassemble the trap. Check the gasket if intact and not damaged. This is how one troubleshoots a single orifice float trap.